Tachana means station in Hebrew, and when people in Tel Aviv say Tachana, they usually mean the historic Tel Aviv Jaffa train station. After years of neglect, the Tachana is making history again. In a restoration and development process that began in the year 2000, the Tachana is now a thriving complex of 22 buildings that includes cafes and restaurants, designer clothing and jewelry shops, art galleries, and more. The main train station building was built in 1892 as part of the first railway line in Israel, going between Jaffa and Jerusalem. The train, which replaced carrying heavy loads via camels or on horseback, took four hours for the trip. Until World War I, the railway was operated by a French company, and signs are still visible. That's waiting room in French. And this metal lamppost was forged in Gay Paris. In 1900, the Wieland family came from Germany to join the Templar community in Israel. Right behind the station is where they decided to put their home and building materials factory, to be conveniently close to the trains. The stately home where the family of 12 lived, called the Villa, now has several clothing boutiques on the ground floor, and a bar and open-air restaurant upstairs. Far off you can see the hill of the old port of Jaffa, with the tower of St. Peter Church. The Wieland factory building currently houses an exhibit by Israeli artists. Here the Wielands manufactured their floor and roofing tiles, decorated cinder blocks, balustrades, and other building materials. The original tile floor is still here, as well as the massive hardwood roof beams brought from Germany. The water pump outside, made in Köln, brought water up to the second floor. In 1941, the British deported the Templars, including the Wielands, and turned their buildings into an army base. In the back of the base was the bar. During Restoration, colorful remains of murals, almost in cartoon style, were uncovered on the former bar walls, now a jewelry store and a boutique. One of my favorite exhibits currently in one of the warehouses is public art curated by the Jerusalem-based Inspire Collective, with energetic, graffiti-influenced art from Israel and around the world. After over 50 years of lying fallow, in 2000 the meticulous restoration began. It was co-funded by over $25 million from the Tel Aviv Jaffa municipality and local developers. Still planned are areas for children's activities, music, and live shows. Tel Aviv has many cafes and shopping areas, but few are surrounded by the unique space and quiet and sense of living history as at the Tachana. This is Harvey Stein reporting from Tel Aviv, Jaffa.